This is a quick one for uh, follow up to some of the skeptics from a few years back when I mentioned that I cut the polycarbonate lux sand using one of these <clears throat> air powered. You can also get something that attaches to like a cordless drill that looks like the, the, the front of this attached to the front of a cordless drill. I don't know how well that works, but this works pretty well for me. These are vinyl shears. The uh, video I did years ago talks about, you know, you could score this with the, uh, you know, a sharp blade and then snap it, but then you got to go through both layers of the protective film. And someone was claiming, ah, oh, I could do it faster. And I, I, I'd say BS you can, because this is a tip that I, I kind of figured out a few years back is that I, this is 030. I can do two sheets of this. So about, well, more than 0 0.060 because you have the film on it as well. But if you mark it like I'm doing here with the straight of drywall edge uh, guide, I mark it and then I cut it, but I've got two sheets here. And if sometimes when you're doing two sheets, if you try to do it at the same time, they'll slip and slide around. What I do to fix that is I come in and spray between the layers a little cleaner solution that I use for kind of wiping it down sometimes if they're really dirty. That makes them stick together so they don't come apart or slide apart and then you can cut them accurately. And so there you go. There's a quick way to get double your production in cutting. Uh, I wish I had a big shear instead to cut this stuff. It would probably be easier and simpler and maybe even quicker. But... Uh, I don't really want to spend the money on that or use up the space for that. So this is my alternative right now is using those air powered shears instead. So there you go. If you've got the, uh, the need for it and you're just doing rough cuts like I am for stuff, you can't beat it doing this way. You can do two at a time. I don't know that I've, I don't think I've bothered to try. I think it might bog down a little bit. I haven't tried in the thicker plastics at all two sheets, but I, I do it with the 030 all the time. And it works really well doing two sheets at a time. I think, I guess maybe I have tried in smaller things, the 040, but I think it starts to kind of bind up a little bit. Or that, or you got to have the speeds much higher in the thing. But when you're doing that, you then generate more small, fine particles of plastic, which can be an annoying thing as well. I think it will do it, but it's, yeah, it's not the best. So there you go. Have a good day. Bye-bye.